Well, I know I'm thankful for our UI7 News correspondent, Andrea Flores. Oh, so cute. I am too. <laughs> so let's see what's going on on campus this week in this week's edition of the UI7 News Break. Good morning, Illini. I'm Andrea Flores, your UI7 News Correspondent with your campus and Champaign-Urbana News. Let's take a look at what's happened this week and what's going on across campus. But first, we have some breaking national news for you. A federal judge has sided with CNN this morning in their lawsuit against President Trump and several top aides. The judge is ordering the White House to immediately return press credentials to CNN's Jim Acosta. Looking back on campus, we have an update on a story we've been following over the last few weeks on law professor Jay Kaysen, who's been accused of sexual misconduct. College of Law Dean Victor Lamar has given Kaysen an unpaid leave of absence for all of 2019, and he will be enrolled in counseling. Until 2024, students enrolled in his classes will be told about the recent investigation into allegations against him. Any future violations may result in a loss of tenure or dismissal for Kaysen. In other campus legal news, Suburban Express owner Dennis Teppen is being accused of stalling by Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan. A motion filed early November says that Teppen has not responded to different forms of contact since early October. Madigan is seeking a default judgment where one party is either unresponsive or fails to do a court-ordered action against the company. Suburban Express is being sued for alleged discrimination and harassment against their customers following an offensive promotional email last winter and a page of shame on their website. A motion hearing is set for early December. Looking over at Fighting Illini Athletics, if you're staying in Champaign for Thanksgiving break, you can catch the football team take on Iowa on Saturday. This weekend's game is following last Saturday's loss against Nebraska, where we fell 35-54. to We're currently 4-6 and six for the season, but if we get two more wins, we could be eligible for a bowl. As for Illinois volleyball, it looks like postseason matchups are in their future. The women's volleyball team are fourth in the country with a 25-3 and record this season. Earlier this week, right now they have 10 straight wins following Wednesday's victory over Northwestern. Their next game is coming up tomorrow against Rutgers, and they'll be back in Huff Hall against Purdue on the 24th. That's all for your UI7 News Recap. Thanks for joining me, and have a happy Thanksgiving.